Hello guys, this is uh, part two of my uh, applications uh, run through. And what I'm doing here is uh, showing all the applications that are possible to do on the iPhone. Not all of them, of course, but some of the ones I've chosen to do. Uh, that way you can see what's possible and what you would like to see on your own iPhone. I had last left off on my iPhone settings. Uh, early I was describing, let's go back, is I have a program called uh, Categorize, which allows me to set up one icon for different uh, categories. That way I can clean up my desktop and make it smaller. Originally I would have about three, four pages worth. So um, there's categories right there. And let's go back out and move on to the next thing. The next thing I have here in see if there's anything in others that's worth talking about. Others like I said, I use the categories to clean up. There was all these things I didn't really plan on using, so I set up one category for them just to get out get them out of the way. Camera Pro is the next program I'm going to try out. Camera Pro is a, uh, what it does is it adds extra features to your camera, which the original iPhone does not include, such as digital zoom. You can change from full color to grayscale. And it also includes a timer, which is a really cool feature, because if you want to take pictures of your friends or take pictures of yourself, you no longer have to hold the iPhone. You can just set it down and set the timer. Well, let's get out of here. Connect is a cool feature. It's a web-based program that allows me to, uh, I have to log in, of course. And what it does is this website saves all my login passwords for my uh, Wi-Fi. And once I go to a Wi-Fi, I no longer have to personally type in passwords and answer, um, logins and uh, passwords. I just click Connect, and it will send a message, and the, um, the website will send all of my information down to the Wi-Fi servers. That way I can connect directly. No tedious work. Next one's called Photo Board. Um, it's a real cool feature. Unfortunately, I don't have too many pictures on this phone. Um, I will show you what it can do, and uh, you can just really play around with it. It's a real nice feature. Let it load up. Just hold down, and then you can select pictures from your iPhone. I'm just going to choose something totally random. There we go. And let me choose another one. This is just some photos of stuff I'm selling. And as you can see, I can now just uh, manipulate the photo as many different ways I would like. I can set this one on top. And you can make collages. You can uh, just the uh, features that are, po that are possible to do with this um, application. Uh, this is pretty fun. And uh, if you had pictures of your friends, you could always play around and do different things to them. So that's cool. Uh, Summerboard is what allows me to change my um, themes and icons. As you can see, they're different from what an original iPhone would have. Sketch is a uh, cool program. What it does is it allows me to uh, draw around. And it has different features. I can even take a picture and then draw on it and save it. A uh, cool thing about Sketch is it's just like an extra sketch. Shake it, and it's erased. So that's cool. VNC, uh, which is uh, based on real VNC, is a remote PC access. And um, I'm going to try it out. I have my server already running. And um, this is actually my desktop. Let's put it sideways so we can get a better view. And as you can see, that's actually what I have on my desktop at the moment. Now, it's not actually just a, v a viewer. I can actually control my whole desktop from my iPhone now. Let me show you something. Um, just open up, I guess. Uh, I just now opened up uh, Winamp, as you can see. And you'll see up here, Winamp has opened up. And I can control it. Oh, got to get rid of it. Well, just to show you that. And um, and so that's real VNC. So now if you want to access, access your own PC from your iPhone over a Wi-Fi, you can do that now. Uh, Customize is a cool program. It allows me to change my icons around. I actually uh, change my icons as well. But uh, arranging my icons is the coolest feature about it. Now I can have all my... Um, I can have all my icons, such as all my M layers all in one list, and all my categories at the bottom list. 
That way it's easier for me to surf around on my iPhone. Now I'm going to show you some of the uh, web-based programs. Uh, this is actually Orb. I'm going to pause it because I'm going to log in. Okay, I'm logging in now. I had to pause it because I didn't want to show you my password. Um, Orb allows you to uh, basically you can uh, do different things. You can stream some uh, uh, audios and videos and different photos. Uh, one of the Orb features I do use on my own PC is the TV um, application which allows me to watch my TV over any internet connection. Unfortunately, it's not possible for the iPhone at the moment. Hopefully, they release that. It'd be such a great thing to have. Now, what I show you is a different thing I did with the audio. I actually set up my own uh, serious uh, internet radio. Not um, internet radio. Now, I already have a service. It allows me to connect it through my uh, IE connection, you know, Internet Explorer. Um, but what I can do now is that wherever I have Wi-Fi. I can connect and find. I only set up a few channels so far, but just to show you that it does work, and it is possible to have your Sirius now on your iPhone. This is Boombox. I'm waiting for it to load up. Go. Push play. And so this is uh, Boombox, the channel on Sirius, if you don't know. Um, and so now, wherever I go, I can carry around my Sirius. If I don't have my, uh, I use Sirius in my car. Obviously, I can't drag that around. Let's pause and go out and try a different channel. There we go. Let's try Hip Hop Nation. I just barely noticed I misspelled it. And so hopefully I'm going to play around with the orb as much as I can. That uh, way I can get more, more videos and more different uh, audio options over the Wi-Fi. Next thing I'm going to show you guys, go into my bookmarks. Um, VTAP is a cool program. It allows you to find uh, search for videos all over the internet, not just uh, YouTube, which currently is the only thing that's uh, uh, usable in the... Um, iPhone, so as you can see, there's like different videos from CNN, and it will play them. Let's just uh, choose something at random, and it will play also different formats, not just the um, YouTube format. And there you go. Now with uh, VTAP, you can uh, view different videos on the internet, not just YouTube, so it gives you a bigger broader option. Let's go back. Stop. And go back to bookmarks. Um, Docs is uh, actually a G Slide program from uh, G Slide, and it allows me to uh, write documents, save documents, and it's basically having a uh, Microsoft Office and different other features on the Wi Fi to go. And I can log in, save, etc., and send to email. So that's a cool feature to have. Um, let's see if there was anything else. AppSmart though. AppSmart is cool. It works as a uh, as a um, home page. Unfortunately, Sirius um, does not have a home page. I mean, uh, Safari does not have a home page. But this one allows me to save some of my favorite pages on the um, main page, so I can just click on it and go to FART. FART opens up. I can click the bottom screen and then scroll around, go back to the uh, main page and choose something else. I want to go to Google now. Done. And uh, so that's basically it. Let's go back in. And I've shown you most of the things I've done with my iPad. I have a few more things I don't have. Uh, but I'm just going to leave this as a two-part video. So I'm just going to have to say peace. And uh, hope you enjoy my 